Hello all, we present a brief talk about asymmetric numeral systems. This is a review about the use of asymmetric numeral systems as an accurate replacement for Huffman coding by Jarek Duda. We generate a huge amount of data daily, so we need better compression techniques to store the data. Shannon introduced idea of entropy, which is lower bound for lossless compression. According to Shannon, a symbol of probability p contains log 1 by p bits of information. So average number of bits per symbol is sigma p log 1 by p, which is entropy. We discuss a class of entropy coding techniques, which attempts to exploit statistical redundancy of source symbol sequence. Some of the widely used techniques are Huffman coding and ANS. Let's brush up some basics of Huffman coding. In Huffman coding, we assign prefix codes to characters of alphabet according to their probabilities. We assign shorter codes to symbol with high probability, thereby reducing overall length of code. This way of coding approximates the symbol probabilities with powers of 0.5, providing suboptimal compression ratios in most cases. In Huffman coding, we separate the input into its component symbols and replace them with their corresponding code. But ANS coding encodes the entire message into a single natural number representing the current information. Consider a binary alphabet case. Imagine there is some information stored in a natural number x. Here, a natural number x contains log x bits of information. As we discussed, a symbol s of probability p carries log 1 by p bits of information. The basic idea of ANS is that when a new symbol s is coded, log 1 by p bits of information will be added to log x bits of information. The coding function we make should ensure that new natural number x dash encoded with s should be as close to x by p as possible in order to reduce inaccuracy. Let's understand this with an example. Consider a binary alphabet with equal probable symbols s equal to 0 and 1. Say there is a binary sequence which is encoded to a natural number x. Now s is added to the sequence. The new natural number x dash corresponding to updated string is 2x plus s which is nothing but shifting the previous sequence by one position up and placing the new bit s in lsb. Start with x equal to 1 as initial state. Code the sequence using above function and obtain a final number corresponding to entire sequence. For decoding, divide x dash by 2. Take reminder as last coded symbol. Then quotient corresponds to remaining all symbols. Decode the sequence in reverse order. Thus, this is first in last out system. Let's visualize the example in a different way. Divide the set of natural numbers into two subsets, even and odd. Here as we can see, even numbers occupy the black squares and odd numbers occupy the white squares. As we are starting with the initial state of x equal to 1, just strike out 1 from u1. Here we can see 2 is the first number in u0, which we call as the first appearance of symbol 0. That makes 4 the second appearance of 0, 6 becomes the third appearance and so on. Similarly, 3 is the first appearance of 1, 5 is the second appearance of 1 and so on. Now let us consider the example of encoding the sequence 0, double 1, double 1. As discussed, we start with the initial state of x equal to 1 and we have to update x to x the appearance of s. Encountering 0, x equal to 1 is updated to x the appearance of 0. Here it is first appearance of 0, that is 2. So 1 is updated to 2. Now on encountering 1, 2 is updated to second appearance of 1, which is 5. So 2 is updated to 5. Again 1 is encountered. So 5 is updated to fifth appearance of 1, that is 11 and so on, which finally gives us the natural number 47. Equivalently, the binary sequence 0, double 1, double 1 is encoded to 47. The above example we discussed is standard base to numeral system. Let's consider the same example with asymmetric properties where probability of 0 is given as 1 by 4 and probability of 1 is given as 3 by 4. For this case, we use standard base for numeral system. We are going to divide natural numbers in a different way. Here u0, which corresponds to s equal to 0, contains natural numbers which are multiples of 4 and u1 which corresponds to s equal to 1 contains all of the natural numbers excluding 1. So u0 basically consists of set of 4, 8, 12 and so on and u1 consists of set of 2, 3, 5, 6 and so on. As briefed up before, 4 is the first appearance of 0, 8 is the second appearance of 0 and so on. Similarly, as we have already excluded 1 from u1, 2 is the first appearance of 1, 3 is the sec second appearance of 1, 5 is the third appearance and so on. Let's now see what result will this encoding produce for the same sequence 0, double 1, double 1. As usual, we start with the initial state x equal to 1. Then, on encountering the first bit 0, 1 is encoded to first appearance of 0, that is 4 in this case. So, x equal to 1 is updated to x equal to 4. Now, on encountering the second bit 1, 4 is encoded to fourth appearance of 1, which is 6 in this case. So, 4 is updated to 6, and again 1 is encoded, which updates it to 
fix the appearance of 1 and so on which finally gives us the number 18 for the given sequence 0 double 1 double 1. The interesting thing we can notice here is similar to the Huffman codes as we encountered a high probable symbol s equal to 1 more often we encoded it to a low value 18 as opposed to 47 in the symmetric case. Let's try to define coding function in this particular case. For coding s equal to 0 we can see 1 is coded to 4, 2 is coded to 8, 3 to 12 and so on. So it is pretty obvious that c of 0 comma x is 4x. To find out for s equal to 1, let's group these numbers into quadruplets. Set of 0, 1, 2, 3, set of 4, 5, 6, 7, set of 8, 9, 10, 11 and so on. Define the starting values 0, 4, 8, 12 and so on as the pivots for each quadruplet. So the term 4 times step of x by 3 gives you the quadruplet to which x is encoded. And now as the quadruplet is known, term mod x comma 3 plus 1 gives you the distance of the exact location from the pivot of the already known quadruplet, which combines to give you the coding expression c of 1 comma x equal to 4 times step of x by 3 plus mod of x comma 3 plus 1. We can see that this coding function c of 1 comma x is approximately x times 4 by 3, which is desired in the first place. Similarly, for decoding s equal to 0, it is pretty obvious that it is x by 4. Decoding s equal to 1, instead of grouping into quadruplets, group these numbers into triplets. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and so on. Using similar logic, the term 3 times step of x by 4 gives you the triplet, and the remaining term gives you the distance of the exact location. So the final decoding function d of x is 3 times step of x by 4 plus mod of x comma 4 minus 1. In Huffman coding, we approximate probabilities to powers of half. So, to get closer to optimal compression rates, the encoder should not only use current symbol, but should also exploit information of previous symbols, which is D being done in ANS. Major companies like Facebook, Apple, etc. use the ANS coding technique in their data compressors. Thank you.